in it. We're just about set to kick off. And now we bring you the coin toss. And it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both teams are lining up for the kickoff. We're just about set to get this one underway. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20, and he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. Gaining eight yards. That makes it second and two. Tackle made around the 28-yard line. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. We've got third and three here. Ball on the 28. Slings it, and he's taken down at the 26. Loss of about two. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. Young is a guy that loves playing at home. He loves the big crowd. He loves the spotlight. He's got it right here. I, he does. I think, Brad, the one thing about this guy is the bigger the stage, the better he seems to play. He plays well on the road, but I think he just feels more comfortable when he's here in front of this crowd, and they seem to give him all that love, and he responds to it. Steps out of bounds around the 41 yard line. From their own 41 yard line. Second down. Quick throw. He tackles him for a loss. And lose a yard there. Really? They just had nowhere to go after the catch. He's at midfield, and they make the stop at the 47. From the 47-yard line, first down. They'll bring him down around the 42-yard line. Fights forward to about the 39. That's good for a game of three yards. That'll bring third and two. Third down and two. Ball on the 39 yard line. Mike, Mike, get Young with a nice play fake. Quick throw to the tight end. Tackle right around the 20. He's a solid blocker, but as he showed right there on third down, he also has soft hands for a big guy. From the 20-yard line, first down. Three down, three down. Mike 51, Mike 51. And he's tackled right around the 18-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. A 
huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. First and goal from the four. They're knocking on the door. Touchdown time. It shouldn't have surprised these guys to see the run coming in, but they just couldn't stop it. He makes the PAT. A nine-play, 61-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. It's scooped up to the 20, the 10, and he's finally brought down at the seven-yard line. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Alabama is up by a touchdown. And they get nice yardage on that run. Second down and goal. Ball on the three-yard line. Throws quick to receiver and it falls incomplete. That was textbook coverage by the defense. That's exactly what you want to do on every single pass play, but it doesn't always happen. Dan Crimson Tide.
They just didn't get the snap off in time. Here's the call. Delay of game, offense. And he hits the PAT. It was a quick three-play, seven-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. The score now, 14-0. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. And he's taken down at the 21-yard line. Alabama's looking awfully impressive right now in defense, but we are in the first quarter. Yeah, this is about a dominant first quarter that we have seen in a long time. But let's see if they can continue to play this well throughout the rest of the ball game. This offense was infected by the turnover bug their last time out. Let's see if they can hold on to the ball here. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Strike to the receiver, no good. From their own 21-yard line, second down. He's going to try and scramble. And now the ball is loose. It's scooped up by the offense. Third and long now after the sack. And he dropped it. Can't ask for much more than a three and out. Great job, defense. Got the corner. He makes it to the 45-yard line. Alabama's shown what we expected them to do today, and this one could get kind of ugly, I think. Yeah, this one's about to get out of hand. I don't know about at your house, but at my house, we have a 21-point rule. If you get down by 21, we turn it over. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them today. A two-yard run by the halfback. You won't break or bend this linebacker. He won't miss that tackle too often. From the 43-yard line, it's second down. He's tackled at the 31-yard line. You know, having a playmaker at tight end makes those linebackers think twice before they make moves. That could be just enough time for the quarterback. It's a fumble. Defense has it. It's the linebacker. Room around the corner. That just shows you how determined this defense is. Great play by the linebacker to come up with the ball after the fumble. They need to show a little giddy up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. Fires that quickly, incomplete. From their own 48-yard line, second down. Zips it to the tight end. It's taken down around the 40-yard line. As we change into the field, I don't think we're going to be seeing much of a change in the outcome. 14-0, Crimson Tide. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Ready. And down he goes around the 25-yard line. Yeah, the defense looked a little sluggish there, and they can do better than that. Now he's scrambling, and he is drilled at the 23-yard line. 
So the quarterback scrambles for about two yards on the play. One thing about this linebacker over the years that separates him from the rest are his instincts and ability to make the play. That's a nice tackle by the senior. Somebody jumped early down there. Best start. That penalty will move them back a bit. Yeah, with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. Second down and 12. Ball on the 28. And he throws right away. Nice catch on that one. Touchdown! This offense just has so many weapons to defend. They've got some genuine playmakers. And he adds the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He'll take it from the two. And down he goes at the 27. The offense couldn't hang on to the ball last time around. Let's see what happens here. Sometimes when you lose the football, you start to focus a little bit more. So a turnover can actually work out in your favor. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 28. Alabama is up seven. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. Nice play across the middle. Locked down around the 48-yard line. From the 48-yard line, it's first down. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. That's a D. That makes it second and ten. They're wrestling down in the backfield. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 38. Good open field tackle. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. At about the 31. That makes it second and six. The 31 yard line. It's second down. Alabama up seven points. Tackle made right around the 30. We're at play number nine of this current drive. He throws it. That's a great tackle at the 15. First and 10. Ball on the 15. Him down for a loss. That's 
a great play by the defense. There's nothing like a defense being able to slip off of a block, get into the backfield of the offense, and then make a play in the backfield to be able to create some momentum possibly for this defense. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. First and goal from the two, and they can smell the end zone. They've got their goal line sets on the field. This might be a good time for play action. Quick throw in the end zone, touchdown. And that one worked just like they draw it up, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, you're exactly right. Offensive line did a good job of protecting the quarterback. Good route by the receivers. Results, touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. They'll make the sack. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Quick throw, and he's shot out of bounds at the 20. Ford on the run. He's knocked out of bounds at the 28. And they're coming after this punter. Tackle made at the 36. Young ability at that quarterback spot. We all knew about that, Kirk. We thought he was going to have a good game. He's not disappointing us at all. We're closing in on halftime, and right now he's having an effect on the entire game and especially on his team. Yeah, and Brad, he's really just sparked this entire offense, and, and I think his success has a lot to do with the momentum that this team's been able to enjoy. And this is exactly what the coaching staff are counting on, is his ability to lead this team and make plays like this to be able to lead them to a victory. It takes a special player to be able to do it, and so far we've seen that from him. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Throwing left. Makes the catch, and he might take it. He's all the way. Touchdown. Penalty markers down, they took too much time. Delayed game, offense. Oh. 
And he tacks on the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say. This one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Catches it, and that's all. That makes it second and six. On the catch, and he steps out. From their own 36-yard line, first down. Wants to throw outside. Young was his intended receiver on the way. That makes it second and ten. He's tackled after positive yardage. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He's tackled at the 28-yard line. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. And he's tackled at the 36-yard line. A gain of eight on the carry. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Alabama is going to have to use their second time out of the half. He wants it all going long. Big catch there as they knock him out of bounds. We we'll give up too many passes like that, and the game will be done before you know it. They cannot let these receivers get behind them. Strike and he drops it. The field goal unit's out on the field. And they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. It's up, looks long enough, and he splits the uprights. With only a few ticks left on the clock before halftime, I would expect they'll just quick kick this one. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Blue 14! Blue 14! And he's taken down at about the 25-yard line. So we played two quarters. The Crimson Tide in front, 31-7. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports Halftime Show. Alongside David Pollock, I'm merely Reese Davis. David, pretty solid first half there. Let's take a look at some of the highlights. 
Yeah, we saw a pretty solid first half. Good execution on both sides. Great intensity. Both these teams, you can tell, are digging deep and scrapping. Now the second half, which one can continue to execute and keep this game moving in the right direction? Alabama's generated a touchdown in this one, and they'll be looking to get that offense going in just a bit. Going to send you out to the second half of your game. Brad and Kirk on the call. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They're not only the better football team on paper, as they've demonstrated today, they're the better team on the field today. And this offense has been outstanding. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. And he's level at the 24. Well, the defensive line got such a good push up front that there was no one on the offense to account for the linebackers. And he got through almost untouched. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on their own 24. Throws it in a hurry. He's hit and taken down. That makes it third seven. From their own 28-yard line. Third down. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. That's a deep three. That makes it fourth and four. Pierce is back awaiting the punt. He's taken down at the 38-yard line. Young game so far, what we expected. He's a star, he's playing like one. We're in the third quarter. And he's done everything we expected and then some, I think. Yeah, I mean, he's just one of those guys that has the, the uh, ability to take a game over. And, you know, we've seen it all year with him. Uh, it's, it's not shocking to see what he's been able to do today. But it is fun to watch. I mean, he makes great decisions. He always seems to be able to be in command of this offense. And uh, up to this point, this defense has not been able to do anything to slow him down. Now he's scrambling. Runs with it, and he's got room. And he's tackled in the open field. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. And down he goes, around the 30-yard line. Fires it out. He's tackled at the 27 yard line. That'll make it 77. Throw to the back quickly off his hands, incomplete. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. Over the middle. And they make the stop. A 22 yard line. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. 
Brought down at the 24 yard line. The defense did a nice job shutting down the offense the last time they had the ball. Up the middle for a nice game. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 28 yard line. He'll get the call again. Tackle right around the 28 yard line. No game. Too easy, too easy. That will make it 35. Go left, go left. Go left, Let's go. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's to the 40. They fall on it. Couldn't have asked for a better time for the turnover, right, Herbie? Well, I'm sure they could have used a couple of these earlier in the game, but better late than never. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. That makes it second and eight. Quick strike to the receiver. And he hits him hard at the 33. That's a game of six on the play. That'll bring up third and Puts third down, and they've got about two yards to go. He's scrambling. Diving for extra yardage. Tackle made right around the 22-yard line. Good discipline here by the defense, stringing the option out and plugging the running lanes. That moved him back. So it's second and 14. Ball on the 22-yard line. The Bearcats wide out, out with an apparent injury, although he might make a comeback before this game's over. Out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. That's good for a five yards. That'll make it third and Touchdown, and it ain't over yet.
They just didn't get the snap off in time. Here's the call. Delay, Delay of game. game. Offense. Offense. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So that's a six-play, 40-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. The score now, 31-17. Cincinnati kicked this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 19. Cincinnati's got a little Jekyll and Hyde thing going on here on their defense. Well, they were on their heels the entire first half. You look around now, they're flying around, making a lot of plays, and really giving themselves a chance to maybe win this game. Misfortune struck as their last drive ended in a fumble. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. And he is drilled at the 11th. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Steps out of bounds at the 19-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. He's out of bounds right around the 24-yard line. Nothing doing for the offense, and it's fourth down. Now they should come away with pretty good field position, so consider that a big stop. So at the end of the third quarter, the Crimson Tide in front, 31-17. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. Gets to about the 44-yard line. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. They get nice yardage on that run. He's got it with room to run. Brought down at the 32 yard line. That's good. That makes it first in time. He's gunned up in the backfield. Coming to you, coming to you. He throws a dart to the right. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He steps out at the eight. It's a nice job here by the wide receiver of looking the ball in and keeping the chains moving. He was on the same page as his quarterback as they both saw the double outside linebacker blitz coming. Straight up the middle, and he'll lose yardage. Ball inside the 10-yard line. Second down. He's taken down around the 9-yard line. Enzo picked off. Great catch by the linebacker, but 
Not a smart throw from the quarterback. It didn't look like the quarterback even saw the linebacker hanging in that area. It pays to be in the right spot at the right time. From their own 20-yard line, it's first down. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. He's out to the 30. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. From their own 39-yard line, first down. They'll bring him down right around the 40. The halfback picks up a yard. The Bearcats will use their first time out of the half. Tackled after a decent pickup. The Bearcats are going to call their second time out. It's third and five. All on the 44-yard line. They go with a run, and he's going to be stopped short. That's a great play by the defense. There's nothing like a defense being able to slip off of a block, get into the backfield of the offense, and then make a play in the backfield to be able to create some momentum, possibly, for this defense. Booming kick. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I would be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. Zips it to the tight end, and he tackles him hard at the 31. Slings it, and he's tackled around the 47-yard line. Just under two to go in the game. There's a strike complete, and he's hit immediately. He might not be able to get the pass off. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Spikes the ball. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 29. He's wrapped up for the sack. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Here's a quick throw. And he stays in bounds and he hauls in a big one. Here's the eighth play of the series. The offense looking here to exercise any red zone demons they might have after throwing an interception on their left trip. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. He goes out of bounds at the 12. That'll make it seven seven. Second down at seven coming up here. Ball on the 12-yard line. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Under a minute left in the game. 
Throws to the receiver, got it for the touchdown. Looks like they didn't get the playoff quick enough. Delay of game, game. Offense. offense. We have less than a minute to go. And he tacks on the extra point. A 10 play, 80 yard drive. And they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. And down he goes at the 41-yard line. Well, they tried, but they couldn't get the ball back. Brad, they still have some time left, but it'll be up to their defense now to make a big play. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Takes a knee. Second down and 12. Ball on the 43. Here we go. Ryan, 68. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. Young's performance today, Kirk, it was just fun for you and I to be part of it, really. Yeah, really, just a campus legend. The guy that went out there and, and showed why he's one of the most dominant players in the country, and he did not disappoint anybody, including his teammates today. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.